Hi everybody, Jill here. Welcome to my channel. You have seen this topper a lot this summer on my channel because it has been my grab and go. I have leaned hard on this topper all summer long. I did a video and showed you guys I need to do something. It's too hot. I'm not doing the full wig when it's like this. So we experimented and put it back in a ponytail. That's this one here. This one is in Shaded Biscuit. So back in the ponytail it went and I have been wearing it like that all summer long. Well, this is also top billing, 12 inch, same exact, only it's in a different color. So I thought, yes, we are going to actually do a formal topper chat on this because the only one I've ever done, I wanna say was like four years ago. And it was this very exact one, like this is the one. <laughs> And so I want to do that for you guys today. This is my favorite topper right now. And I do have another one that I am very excited to try out. I have not put it on yet, but it has immense potential. It is a different brand and it is also lace front. So be on the lookout for that. I'm excited to do that one but very excited to bring this to you today. So we're gonna talk about all the things I love about this topper, a couple things that I wish were a little different or whatever, but how I deal with that. And so let's get going. All right, so very first thing is I noticed they have different packaging. I don't know how long they've had it this way. I love it. I absolutely love this box. It's this gorgeous blush pink. It's a little smaller, easy to store. I love the lid situation. It's like a little pop-up type of thing. Anyway, I'm such a sucker for pretty packaging and I think this is gorgeous. These boxes are just fabulous. Don't throw them away. This is how I store my pieces and uh, I just put the little tag on the end and put it in the shelf so I know what it is. Anyway, I love love. So they could have had this for a long time and I just don't know because <laughs> it's been a while since I ordered a topper for Macau Welch because I had this one. So this one is permanently on my head, not permanently, but I've been wearing this all day. I've had a very long day. It's actually, it's like 7.20 at night, but I have been dying to do this and I was in the mood, so we're doing it. This is the one that I'm gonna show you what the, what the cap looks like. I will be taking this off, of course, right before bed. I have it, it stays on to keep it on the front and I will post the video in the description area of exactly did I put it on in that video though I'm gonna I don't remember which video I showed you exactly how I went in the bathroom and we put it on together with the it stays I'll, I'll figure it out and put it down below in the description box so you know by far toppers are so so doable in the hot summer months they're not near as warm I mean it depends on the cap you know some toppers are literally three-quarter wigs so I guess it just depends on what that coverage is like and how much of your own hair is out and how much you see of it and all of that so I guess I should just not generalize that so we're taking a look at this color which happens to work amazingly well with my natural hair and it is the shaded iced cappuccino so this is like shaded cappuccino however it's not quite as highlighted not it is gorgeously here and there very pretty it's just not quite as dynamic as shaded cappuccino shaded cappuccino has a little more of those lighter highlights throughout the you know piece i'm in love with it though <laughs> i really think that i mean i would like to try shaded cappuccino as well but this one blends pretty great with my mousy brown heavily grayed hair i think and i'll spin here in a bit so let's take a look now i have not washed mine it needs to be washed quite desperately but before i show you the cap i feel like i do need to put a little bit of this in it so this is the revitalize and shine 
I really like this stuff. It is by Aesthetica. And so I'm gonna just put a little bit of this on. You don't need much. Sorry, I might've put that out of view. And I'm gonna start at the bottom, kind of work my way up. And it really kind of does what it says. It revitalizes and shines, you know? And it's a great thing to do every time that you take off your wig or your hairpiece or whatever. Now I've worn this almost every single day in a ponytail. I don't wear this one down because the color is definitely, you know, a lot lighter than mine. It looks great in a ponytail because it just looks like, you know, we, we often are darker underneath than we have the highlights on top. So it's it works great. But I definitely can't feel confident wearing this one down. And I will explain why here in a bit. These days, when choosing toppers and wearing them, I have to have a lace front. My hair has just gotten too, just enough receded and too thin to wear, you know, because those kind of toppers look the best, the non-lace front, if you wear them just a little behind your actual hairline and then brush your own hair kind of up and over. If I do that, my profile is way off because it has to sit back just a little bit further these days. And then I really don't have that much hair anymore at all to just utilize there in the front. So it's just not a good thing for me right now. Um, so I have transitioned over to lace front toppers, which is fabulous. It's an amazing option for those of you with that same issue. It's not unusual for women to experience that kind of female hair loss where you lose it right in here. So don't dismay, there's always options, always, always options for you. So this has the gorgeous, beautiful Raquel Welch lace front. We have two clips here and we have two clips toward the back. We have the full monofilament, which is really the only way I'll go with a topper. I want full monofilament on top. That gives me the freedom to part it anywhere I want and it gives a very realistic look and I need that. This is a helper hair here and this is the main, you know, thing. I want it to be realistic and to boost my confidence in that way and this is how I do it. Full monofilament. Now, the great thing about this piece, the top billing, because they're all created very differently. It just depends on what you want and how much coverage you opt for and all of that. I love this because some toppers will stop right there. You've got your monofilament and, you know, and that's it. You, you don't need that much coverage. Well, this particular one has how many? Like four? What do we have here? One, two, three... Uh, f about four more wefts of hair all around the base there, all around it. So you have that and then you have the additional wefts to give you a little more hair, which gives you a little more coverage. So that's very nice. The other thing that I really love about the construction of this topper is that it has a real pretty crown still. That's not the case sometimes with all toppers, and it depends again on the construction, how much coverage you have, and stuff like that. This does, it still has a, a nice crown. Now it depends on how far down you need to pull the lace front to give you a nice natural hairline. And that's where I wished or I wish they would have added just a couple more wefts because this is a lace front. You know, we women are going to be pulling it front, you know, to that give us a natural hairline. Well, if all of that's here, we're pulling it up. So now the crown might be pulled a little too forward or just a little more forward. So it would have been nice to have just, 
even just a couple more wefts back here. And that would also give us a little better coverage back there as well. But there are plenty of toppers out there that don't give you this nice pretty crown. So it's just kind of it hugs your head right back here, you know? And I don't know, I like a, a more feminine, pretty crown back here, even if it's just the slightest little bit because I have toppers that I'm not real fond of how it makes me look on the profile because they don't do that. But this does and it's just really almost perfect, really. So it's even kind of parting a little bit as I hold it here. The coverage in this particular construction, I personally like a little more. I like a little more unless it's a really good match then it's fine but I don't play around with coloring my own hair I just don't want to bother with it so I don't if I love and I do love shaded biscuit I love it so so much and if I decided that hey I will probably be wearing this topper and I'd probably get a second one so I can rotate them then yes I would go through having what little hair I have and, and get it to match a little better so I wouldn't have to worry about that. Now this color here, this is the shaded iced cappuccino. This one matches pretty dang good. It's a slight bit more warm, a little bit more warm than even my brown color of hair. Yet cappuccino, iced cappuccino, they're more neutral even on a bit of the cooler side, but there is still warmth in it. So I'm gonna do a spin because I feel totally fine not putting this one back in a ponytail, not worrying about that coverage back there because it does blend pretty well with my own hair. So I'm gonna do a little spin. I'm not gonna comb through it because I have actually, I have recorded a video before this one that I decided it would be fun to record me freshening up my makeup for this video. So it's been a little bit since I've ran anything through it, but that's okay. Let's see it in the real world, what it looks like. So just imagine that you, you're you not a wig wearer, you don't wear toppers, you may not even know they exist. You're not gonna know that I'm wearing a topper. You're, you're just not. And so the slight things that you and I can see, just remember the average person is not. So I have worn this probably twice now, all day long. I've been out with them and about. Today we had a very long doctor appointment for my husband um, and it's been a long day and I felt fine wearing this. So this, I would have to put it in a ponytail to feel great in it. And I do feel great in this when I have it back. And I don't even have to worry what's going on back there because it's in a ponytail, so it's fantastic. And it's cooler, it's much cooler. Today, I probably should have wore a ponytail. Whew. And it's hot in here right now. I don't have air conditioning in here and it's very warm. <laughs> yes, I mean, this is, this is beautiful. Now I wanna point something out to you guys because some of you panic whether it's a wig or a topper and you have that full monofilament. You look at this, now can you see, can you see my fingers through here? You're probably thinking if you can say, oh yeah, you can, I think you can. You, I have some, some of you will, will panic and you're like, my gosh, it looks like they did not put enough fibers in there or, oh my gosh, is it shedding what's going on? No, that is exactly how you want it to be. That is how you want it to be. You want that because now when you put it on, I promise you, it is going to look like your scalp and it's going to look so real. When you put on a piece or a wig that has monofilament but they put too many fibers here, then you don't get to take advantage of that gorgeous monofilament. It just does not look natural as it could, you know, and you can barely see the monofilament, which is what would be your scalp look, you know? 
So it's good when you see your fingers through here. It's really good. Beautiful. Now these, before I go into much more, I don't want to forget to tell you that this is a heat friendly fiber. So, you know, you can take some curl to this and it's a different way. You have to make sure it's cold set. You can't just put a curl in, let it go and think it's gonna stay. You have to clip it in or at the very least hold it there until it's completely cooled and then it'll be set in. But also remember, synthetic fibers have a memory. So if you curl it, when you wash it, it is going to be the way it was when you did it, not the way it came from the manufacturer because you just re put memory in it through heat and cooled it and it's in there now, it's set. It may not be as tight maybe when you wash it, but it's still, that's gonna be there. So remember that. But it is a possibility, but just remember whatever you do to your topper, you're gonna have to do to your own hair no matter how little hair you have. If you curl it, you're gonna have to also curl your own hair. You gotta make that texture match the topper. So for instance, I have to straighten my own hair, kind of get the fuzzies out, and I straighten it a bit and kind of coax it to go just a tiny little bit like this. It doesn't take me long because I don't have much hair, so it really doesn't take me long. But I do straighten it and make sure I get the fuzzies out to match the texture of the topper. Don't forget, you do have to do that when you wear toppers. And then, don't forget, after you put your topper on, you do have to then blend it in with your own hair, always hold your topper, okay? Try to remember to always do that because the more that you tug just the slightest bit, you know, these are clipped into our hair, you don't wanna aggravate those follicles. So kind of get in the habit of doing this. Now, if you're out in the world, then just be careful. But um, yeah, get in the habit of kind of doing that just to make sure it doesn't move too much. But yes, you do want to really take a pick, not just your fingers, but in this instance, actually take your pick and blend it into your hair. That's really important because it does sort of then blend much better than if you were to just put it on and just kind of take your fingers and do that. I have found that anyway. It's kind of an important um, step, I think. So pretty. So yes, this is heat friendly and I love that because one is I have an option if I wanted, I could curl it. I very seldom do, but I could. But two, I just find these heat friendly fibers to look more realistic. I don't have to worry about this synthetic -y shine. And that's important when I'm wearing a topper because then it even has a harder time kind of blending into my own hair when it's a little too shiny. And so I love the option of having that heat friendly fiber in my toppers because I just think they blend easier with my own hair and I don't have to worry about that shine factor. They also just, I think in general, look more realistic. And that is just my opinion. The other thing though, heat friendly fibers are very delicate, very delicate. They need to be babied, uh, be careful with them. They will break down faster than the non, the ones that don't, you know, the non heat friendly fibers, without a doubt, without a doubt. But all of the reasons why I do love them outweighs that. And for many of you, it does not. And I understand that for sure, I do. So yes, I mean, this one I've worn a lot. Hmm. I've worn it a lot, I have to wash it for, and I think it will be the first time I've washed it. Um, and yes, you know, these ends are, you know, sort of getting broken down. They're feeling a little straw-like, but they will revive once I soak them a little bit in um, that conditioning balm sort of soak that you do. I use Belle Madame uh, shampoo and conditioner, and I will get the bottles. Hold on. The only thing is, if you're in the UK, you can get your hands on this really easy. There is a place you can order these here in the US. And as a matter of fact, I will have to see, I wanna say Wigs by Patty's Pearls might actually carry this now. If not, 
I will try to track down where you can get this because it's a little hard because this is a UK based line. Belle Madame is European and so, but I absolutely love, love these products here. So the conditioning balsam, that's what it's called. Uh, and read the directions on the back. It'll tell you exactly how much, how to do it and all of that. But this is great and it will revive to some extent that. Um, and also, you know, doing this definitely helps as well. But yeah, they are, they're starting to get a little crispy for sure. I do try to be careful. I do, but it happens. And it happens faster than you think it should, for sure. I know. Oh boy, I love this topper. It comes in the 12 inch, which is what I use um, with my hair here. It also comes in an 18 inch. So if you have much longer hair, you have that option. Now, I find with this particular style, that I don't really have to put a lot of product on it. When I first did it, because they're always very, very soft when you first get them, and I really, you know, take my time and I comb through it and I lift the fibers kind of up and off the cap. You have to do that because when you first get them out of the box, they are going to be very flat and lifeless almost. Don't dismay. You just got to wake those fibers up. You can even, you know, kind of take it and shake it you can you know kind of brush it even carefully from the bottom up and and really kind of in the opposite direction and then flip it back and you know you can do that all before you even get the piece on but what I end up doing actually is I don't do that I might shake it a bit but then I'll put it on and then I do it while you know it's kind of on so yes you you do have to get those fibers off the cap because they're just kind of stuck there <laughs> not literally stuck there but yes just like wigs sometimes they don't look the best right out of the box just don't panic you just you got to work with it just a little Sorry. bit I might um, put a little a little excerpt of a video that I stuck into one of my vlogs that I do on Sundays if you don't catch those and it sounds like something that you think you would like to almost every Sunday I skip one every now and then but almost every Sunday I come out with a Sunday vlog. And anyway, I think I put it in one of those. But yeah, this is, if I put it in, this is what it looks like right out of the box. It's very, very soft, but I'm trying to get those fibers just kind of up and off. And then I sprayed some hairspray in it. Something that I absolutely adore about this, and I love this really in even my longer wigs, is the shape. You know, it's really hard to find a topper that has a shape like this. They tend to be kind of one length and kind of straighter and not a lot of shape. And that's because they don't have a lot of room for that. You know, I mean, it depends on the, the base that you that you have in the coverage. But somehow Raquel Welch did it with this one. And I love it. It's feathered out perfectly. I love the wispy bang situation that you can choose to wear, you know, kind of however you want. You might want to take everything to the side and have a kind of a, a side bang thing. You know, and you've got kind of the little bit of a bang over here. There's the slightest sort of feathering and wispiness here on the side. So you have this really pretty kind of shape thing. And it's this line that I absolutely love. And I love it in Spotlight, the wig. And I love it in so many of her pieces. Just wow. really unusual to find a topper with a beautiful shape already in it. You can get toppers shaped at your hair salon or if you're handy or if you're a cosmetologist you can do this type of thing yourself but the fact that this is pretty much a put on your head and it's already done and beautiful and feminine and you have some actual shape to this topper is fabulous it's really amazing
I sort of did things backwards. I started with wigs and then I moseyed on a year later to experiment with toppers. And that was because it was summer and I, I was more open to do that. And so I did. And then fall comes and winter and I go back to my wigs and then it warms up and I go back to the toppers. But most people really start with toppers and then they decide, I want to experiment with wigs now. And that's generally sort of, you know, how it progresses. But it doesn't have to. It definitely didn't work that way for me. And you may decide, you know, once you hit the topper world and you're in that pond and loving it, you may never have to experiment with wigs. You may not even have the desire to do that. And that's that's totally fine. Especially these days, you know, toppers, again, they have that lace front. They cover all the different needs when it comes to how much coverage somebody needs. So there really is an option for everyone, unless you're completely bald, obviously. Then you're going to have to start looking at some wigs if having some hair is appealing to you. So there are options and toppers are a beautiful one. So I hope you enjoyed this and helped you out a little if you're looking at lace front toppers. Uh, again, I have really sported this top billing all summer long, just it happened to be in this color with my oh, save the day ponytail situation. And now I'm enjoying it, just not necessarily needing to put it back in a ponytail or wanting to. So again, this is top billing. It's the 12 inch in the color shaded iced cappuccino. And the other one we looked at is the one I've been sporting all summer long. And this is the same, it's the 12 inch in shaded biscuit. So I hope you found this helpful. Have fun exploring all of those different options. There are so many options out there and I know that alone can be a little overwhelming. So eventually you're just gonna have to pull the trigger and start your journey with your very first piece, no matter if it's a wig or a topper. And that is where your real learning will begin. Thank you so much. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.